What's up, YouTube? This is your guy, God of Games. And even the God of Games has issues. He has things, problems that happen. Things that happen. Now, I'm going to let you guys see exactly what happened and what I had to do. Now, what happened was my TV, which is a 55-inch LG smart TV, began to have little blocks and squares pop up on the screen, and then they go away. So I decided, hey, I need a new TV. So I started looking into new TVs and looking at the prices, and of course, didn't like them. So I said, hey, I know what to do. I'm going to fix it. And since I used to fix laptops, I figured how hard it could be. So I took the back off of my TV, and as you can see, here's the TV, 55 inch, laying on my bed. So I said, hey, once I took the back off and I saw what I was dealing with, it's really quite simple. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what you had to do. You had to take all the screws out. This is the motherboard. As you see, I've already taken it out. And it sits like right here. And this plugs in here. These two plug in here. And you have to be careful with these not to bend these ends. And there's a little locking mechanism here that flips up and down. So if you've never been in the back of a laptop or any new electronics, some of this stuff may be new. These little squeeze triggers, which help it slide in and out. You gotta squeeze them together, hold them together, and then pull it out slowly. If you yank it, you yank the wires out, mess with the connectors on the inside. Although this motherboard is jacked up anyway, so it really don't matter. But you don't want to mess up the connector. So, this over here is another control motherboard, which controls the smart aspect of the TV and the screen. So, this one costs 60 on eBay. This one is 60 on eBay. So once I get this one in, let's say, for instance, this one was going bad. I know it was. Oh, I forgot to tell you. This connector here. Two connectors, rather, that are right here. Uh, and I've already taken the plastic retainer off for the HDMI and uh, USB connectors. Now, this one is also $60 on eBay. So if it comes... Uh, comes back when I get the new one if this one still doesn't fix it then I'll have to get this one which is an easy fix because I called a TV repairman and he was like oh yeah we take a look at it for about $150 to look at it and then uh, if it is the motherboard it'll be another 200 I'm like no <laughs> no it won't so just to give you guys an idea of what you have to do if your TV goes out Look it up, put the symptoms of what's it doing wrong on it, and most of the time to come back it's the motherboard. Now the issue you will have is when you get motherboards, sometimes they will send you one and it is bad and you have to send it back. They'll send you another one. It may be bad because I had this issue when we were fi fixing laptops. The motherboards will actually come from the factory bad. So just something to look out for, but spend $2,000 for a new TV or $200 and fix it yourself.